hello friends welcome to my channel if you are new to the channel please do subscribe for such amazing and creating videos today i will contemplate four days gnarls it is also known as four days disease or four days sport it is named after james addison four days in 1896 it is a developmental disturbance of affecting oral mucosa characterized by heterotrophic collection of sebaceous gland at various site in the oral cavity Let's move on to the clinical features. It appears as a small yellow spot, either discreetly separated or forming relatively large plaques, often projecting slightly above the surface of the tissue. Most frequently occurs in a bilaterally symmetrical pattern on the mucosa of the cheek opposite the molar teeth. It is also occurred on the inner surface of the lips in the intramolar region, lateral to the anterior fossa pillar. and occasionally on the tongue gingiva frenum and palate here you can see clinical representation of four d spot uh, first picture which represent four d spot on the corner of the mouth and second four d spot on the lips okay then here you can see four d spot on the buccal mucosa opposite to molar teeth because of the high incidence of this gland in the oral cavity they may regarded as a sebaceous nevi rather than ectopic glandular tissue let's discuss the histological features these heterotrophic collection of sebaceous glands are identical with those seen normally in the skin but are unassociated with the hair follicles rarely hair follicles are present these glands are usually superficial and may consist of only a few or great many ovules all grouped around one or more duct which open on the surface of the mucosa and these duct may show keratin plugging you can see histological representation four is granules that is ectopic sebaceous glands are here and these azinar lobules beneath the epithelial surface communicating with the surface through a central duct these are the azinar lobules communicating with the surface through the central duct okay uh let's discuss the treatment these glands are innocuous that is not harmful have no clinical or functional significance so treatment is no no treatment is required so guys i hope this video is uh, useful for you keep watching keep me in the loop stay tuned thank you